League winners. Let the pros show you how to make money. General Manager Al DeMarco, a regular contributor on Fox Sports, MSNBC, and Comcast Sports TV, brings over 25 years of handicapping experience to the table. CEO Steve Budin, the author of Bets, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, is the man responsible for creating the online betting industry. Together, they lead PickNation.com, your number one source for winners. Welcome back, everyone, to the Saturday edition of the Countdown to Kickoff program, the only nationally televised show to break down all of your college and pro games from a point spread perspective designed to make you money in Vegas. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, and I am general manager of the world's largest online sports gambling community, PickNation.com. I've been a professional sports handicapper for 25 years, and guys, in that time, I can tell you the biggest key to making money in college football and college basketball is constant concentrating the most where the odds makers concentrate the least. What I mean is simply this. The marquee matchups on the board always have the sharpest lines because the public most informed about those games, the odds makers most tuned into those games. Those games, great TV viewing, but the toughest games usually to make money in. So again, I like to concentrate the most where the odds makers concentrate the least because that's where you will find exceptional value. And with that in mind, let's start it off by heading to the Mid-American Conference today for a non-conference tilt between Toledo and Big East member Cincinnati. Now, Toledo is a six and a half point home dog in this contest against the Bearcats. And Toledo has won six consecutive games, averaging 39.7 points in that stretch since opening the season with a seven point loss in Arizona. Needless to say, for the Rockets, this is their biggest game of the entire season. Now, granted, they don't play any defense, okay? I'll give you that one up front. They're ranked 108th in the nation in terms of overall defense. They've given up 82 points combined in their last two games against Eastern Michigan and Central Michigan. But again, they did win both of those games. Flip side, Cincinnati. Since Butch Jones came into the program, well, they are a perfect 4-0 straight up and against the spread. Against Mid-American Conference teams, just beat the hell out of Miami of Ohio a couple weeks ago. And their average margin of cover in those four wins, 16 points. So why take Toledo plus the points? Again, it's the Rockets' biggest game of the season. And you've got a Cincinnati team that may get caught looking ahead to next week's battle against undefeated Louisville. So go with the home dog and take Toledo in this contest. Another game coming up in just a moment. But first, guys, I want to tell you about a fantasy football contest that we run every single weekend over at picknation.com. $500 total prize pool, top 20 finish in the money. It costs you just $2 to enter. And this week we have a different type of twist. If you beat our expert, and our expert is my partner for the Sunday edition of the Countdown to Kickoff show you see every weekend here on FoxSports.com, Steve Budin. And that should be kind of easy, guys, because Steve finished 234th in the contest last week. He finished 199th in the contest a week before. So it's $2 to enter the contest, and if you beat Steve Budin, you get $5 anyway. And guys, again, the big money though, it's $500 total prize package. $125 goes to the winner. Go to picknation.com. You'll see the fantasy football contest ads. Click on them, enter. You've got until one o'clock Eastern time on Sunday afternoon to put together your roster. Do it now at picknation.com. Next game, guys, again, Concentrating the most, where the odds makers concentrate the least. A game that isn't going to get much attention, it's going to be Navy. Minus two and a half points at home against Indiana. Now, the Hoosiers have lost four straight games. They just got uh, beaten 52-49 to at home by Ohio State, a game in which the Buckeyes ran up 578 yards in total offense. And don't be deceived by that final score because it really wasn't that close of a game as the Buckeyes had a nice big lead in the second half. And prior to that, two Saturdays ago, Indiana also lost at home, this time to Michigan State, losing that 131-27. to Listen, during the four-game losing streak, the Hoosiers have allowed 42 points a game. Their only wins this season have come against a couple of cupcakes, Massachusetts and Indiana State. Navy, 
didn't play last Saturday. Instead, Navy played last Friday. It was a nationally televised game. Went to Central Michigan, getting a couple points. Navy pulled off the win, 31-13. to That was after winning the previous week at Air Force in overtime, 28-21. Navy has a freshman quarterback, Keenan Reynolds, who engineered the comeback win at Air Force and started last week against Central Michigan. He's going to start again today. Against the Chippewas last week, this guy had three touchdown passes. Now you're saying, hey, big deal, he had three touchdown passes, but let me tell you, he is the first Navy quarterback to throw three touchdown passes in a game in 15 years. So I'm going to go with Navy in this one. Listen, it's so hard when you play these service academies, especially these non-conference games like Indiana coming in the middle of their Big Ten schedule. It's so difficult to play the service academies because of the option running attack that they have. And keep in mind, the Hoosiers are ranked 109th in the country in terms of stopping the run, giving up a healthy five yards of carry to opposing running backs. And now that Navy can throw the ball effectively, I love the midshipmen in this particular spot, minus the two and a half points. Another free selection coming your way in just a moment. But guys, listen, these are free picks. These aren't necessarily my best bets on the board. No, my best bet is over on pick nation.com you can get my best bet today and the plays of every single handicapper at the site over six hundred dollars worth of action for free today simply by using the trial all access pass at picknation.com now listen the all access pass is exactly what it says you get my plays and the plays of every single handicapper nothing held back for free. It's a one day free trial, all access pass at picknation.com. You are getting over $600 worth of action from free from the nation's top handicappers. So, what do you have to lose? The only thing you lose is an opportunity to get my best bet, the best bets of all 10 handicappers for free at picknation.com. Just go there and click on the one day free all access pass. Final game, guys. Not necessarily an obscure game. We're talking about a major conference. We head to the ACC where Georgia Tech is laying 14 at home against Boston College. Now, Georgia Tech, monster favorite in this contest. Why go with them? Because the Yellow Jackets are coming off a bye. You remember their last game two Saturdays ago, 47-31 loss at Clemson. That was their third consecutive loss. As previously, they lost at home in Atlanta to Middle Tennessee State. That was bad enough. Then, prior to that, they also lost at home to Miami of Florida. Well, after giving up a boatload of points in those three games against Miami of Florida, Middle Tennessee State, and last week against Clemson, they decided to sack their defensive coordinator, Al Groh, a couple of weeks ago. So this is a Yellow Jackets team that's in a must-win situation and looking for a bit of redemption here and you've got just what the doctor ordered in a visit from Boston College. A BC team playing its third consecutive game on the road and not playing well in any of them either. Listen, Boston College last week got smoked by Florida State and Tallahassee 51-7. They were outgained in that game. 649 total yards to 225. Prior to that, they gave up 510 yards on the ground to Army in a 34 to 31 road loss. Now keep in mind, you had an Army team running the option. Well, now you got the Georgia Tech team with that triple option attack. And Boston College's defense ranked 117th in the nation in terms of stopping the run this season. And listen, this is a team that's one and five straight up and against the spread. I say go against Boston College, a team that's giving up over 30. 38 points a game this year against FBS opponents and go ahead and lay the two touchdowns with Georgia Tech at home. Listen, guys, you can get free picks from me every single day over at picknation.com via my daily video report. I break down the games for you in in-depth fashion. It's free, no purchase necessary. Plus, you also get special one-day trial promotions, charity play of the week promotion, the $5 play of the week promotion. Every single day there are discount coupons as well. Check it out, my daily free video report over at picknation.com. Good luck, everybody. Catch you again here tomorrow on foxsports.com with the Sunday edition the countdown to kickoff program.